I'm Brenda McHugh. I am a teacher and a consultant psychotherapist, and I am the co-founder of the Family School London. At present, there is so little support for both teachers and parents when it comes to their child's mental health, even though the profile of mental health has changed over the last year. For a parent or a teacher who would like to get urgent support for a child that they see is struggling, both emotionally and uh, academically, it's very, very difficult. So for teachers and parents to join together to find a way to support the struggling child is more important now than ever before. The research is quite compelling. The main thing that has an impact in schools, when you take away everything else that could really make a difference to a child's academic progress, when you take that away, the size of the school, the interventions that are going on in school, the style of teaching, the, um, the area that the school operates in, the single most thing that makes an impact is the engagement of parents. One of the things that's made a difference is by parents working together as a mini community. So a multi-family group in school, a eight to 10 parents working together over a period of a term where they're looking at the learning goals and the behavioral goals of a child and that they are working together as like a, a village to raise those children, that they each have not just their own child's mind in mind, but the other children in mind, that they ask critical questions of those children. How are you doing? Who do you think will notice how you're doing? What difference would it make if you achieve your goal? For those children to have 10 parents interested is like creating an extended family. What parents say is that it's easier to talk to somebody else's child than your own, because when you talk to your own, your own can press your buttons or you see them do something that really irritates you and you find that you're arguing about them sitting still rather than looking at something positive they achieved the, the day before. When parents are working with each other, those children's experience of being kept in mind by that adult is incredibly positive. And again, that builds the trust that children have in adults to be able to take care of their minds and to be able to be trusted when they have anxiety or that they have thoughts that they think, well, nobody's had a thought like this before, but I really can't think about anything else and I definitely cannot get on with my lesson. The other thing that parents talk about is that if your child is failing in school, that's quite shaming and it's also quite isolating, particularly if they're failing because their behaviours are antisocial. So you notice that your child is not being invited to birthday parties. They are not coming home for sleepovers and gradually you are feeling more and more on the margins of school. And if we think that what we're trying to do is prevent exclusion, that is not good. So having parents together that support each other, that quite often say to each other, we're in the same boat, I, I know what it feels like to be you, and to create a peer but graduate mentoring system throughout the, the kind of life of the school so that an anxious new parent can step in to an experienced number of parents who can say, I was, I was just like you and my child. My child was so out of class so many times and during that time, they didn't just go below expected in terms of their literacy, they were well below because they were spent most of the time outside the classroom. It is really important if you're going to engage parents in the school that the parents uh, are invited by the senior leadership team. It has got to come from enthusiasm from the top and be part of the school's development plan and the school's self-evaluation plan. Uh, bolt on, coming in, doing something for six weeks and having a lovely time, parent tea, and going again, will not provide sustainability. So when we've looked at, there are thousands of programmes that have gone into schools. Uh, and the feedback from the parents is they've had a lovely time. But when you look at the outcome, there is not the sustainability of change and academic progress that you need. So in a way, it's been lovely, but has it made a difference? No. And I think that bringing in parents, if parents are giving up time, uh, and they are sometimes overcoming a lot of barriers, because sometimes parents have not had a great time at school themselves. So walking into the school, I've seen 
fathers shake a little because that has not been a happy time for them. But they're willing to do it for their children. So if parents are going to give up that kind of time and come in, they want to know that what they're doing is going to last. And therefore, you have to embed it in a whole school approach. And it has to be supported. We know it's difficult for teachers to come out of school to learn uh, and take time out, particularly in this climate, um, to do a long course on how to work with parents and how to work with groups of families. So we have developed an online training which has film of a group working over time. So you'll be able to see uh, every moment of a, a model group from group one. It's a real group filmed in a primary school in Ealing, very generous of them give us their time uh, and you can see it from week one right through to week 12 uh, and alongside that there are downloads that you can take for uh, every component of running a group so by the time you've read it, downloaded, watched the film, easy, ready to go and you'll find that training on our Anna Freud website.